Uh, 760 force. They're all the same length. What that does is detach the engine from the gun body. Pull those out. I'm going to go ahead and set the screws and the body aside. So we're just dealing with our engine. Notice there's a bolt on the front that just slides right off. Behind that we have our air chamber. Uh, and then the end cap is what we refer to as this black part here. Uh, starting with the bolt, you know, this is made up of four pieces. The outer shell, there's a pin down inside that rests on this O-ring right inside the air chamber there. And then a set screw that holds them together and a bumper that sits on the front of that. We refer to this as our soft touch bolt or ST. Um, you'll notice these bumpers are red. That's because we Loctite that set screw going down in there and it dyes the bumper red when installed. If you lose that bumper, you're going to put a new one on. It's going to be almost clear like. Shouldn't have any troubles with it. Uh, they come off from time to time and I tell people just set them back on there. Take the end of a screwdriver, basically. Just kind of give it a twist around those threads and it'll seal right down on. I have no problem with them. Uh, going through the engine a little deeper, you'll notice there's two little flats on this air chamber for a wrench of some sort. Go ahead and give that a little twist pop that off. And again you'll notice there's an o-ring right down inside there that actually the firing pin sits on inside there and when it comes off that o-ring is when the gun actually fires. On the back you'll notice there is this little disc, this little rubber disc and all that is is a shock absorber so when the bolt travels back doesn't slam metal to metal. It's a little bit quieter, a little bit more uh, forgiving for the life of the gun. You want to make sure that's there always. Also, there's a black O-ring here in the back which seals it to the end cap when it gets down in. That O-ring can drop out sometimes if you just turn, put it here and go to twist it in. What I do is I will hold it upside down and thread it up into that end cap until it bumps. That way you know it's seated in there correctly. It'll save you a lot of hassle when taking it apart. You're not going to see a lot of problems with that O-ring either. It just doesn't leak. There's no uh, real force there to push it out of place. So unless you have a leak you just can't find, I recommend not even taking the air chamber off. Um, behind here in the back, you'll notice the relief valve, which we put a relief valve in the guns to regulate uh, uh, the airflow in the air chamber. So if your pressure exceeds what you want to shoot at, it will uh, bleed off. And that's done with just a set screw, a spring, and a little valve. Comes off, got a little round top on it and a little clear o-ring. Uh, again, you shouldn't see a lot of troubles with these. You might want to take it off, just put a little oil on it from time to time. Uh, inside there, there's a brass housing. It's also threaded in with a black o-ring in there. I don't take that off. There's just no reason for that to uh, leak. There's no uh, nothing that can get in there. She so just shouldn't have a problem with it. It's not needed. Go ahead and put a little bit of oil on your valve o-ring, drop it back in there, spring to follow, set screw to hold it all in. Again that relief valve is 3 sixteenths. One other thing to point out anytime you're dealing with the engine, you'll notice this little black o-ring here. The bottom, we refer to this as the rag body seal. Uh, it's just a black o-ring on a black part and it can get easily lost. Some of them stay in better than others. This one seems to stay in fairly well. But I recommend just setting it aside whenever working with it so you don't lose it. Um, other than that, put a little bit of o-ring or a little bit of oil on this black o-ring here. Like you say, spin it up into it until you feel a bump. And I usually lock them down with a, a wrench. It's just better. You don't really have to, but you want to make sure that's snug so you don't get any vibration in your firing bolt. Uh, as far as this o-ring goes here, I like to keep that well lubed. Uh, I recommend using a tech uh, gun salve. It comes in this little pink puck. It's really great stuff. I've uh, tried a bunch of different greases that all seem to either uh, grip or start to dry up. You'll get something that's a little grainy. This works real well. I just put a little dab there on the end of my finger. Just kind of roll it into that hole. You'll notice it kind of pools up there on that o-ring. Works out really well. And then when you're putting the bolt back together, just slide it on there and what I'll do is I'll just kind of work it in so that grease gets all over that pin there works real nice and that's your engine assembly again you want to just
Once you're done with that, put it back in your gun body, put your four screws in, you're all set.